Jimmy Kimmel could barely hold back his tears Monday as he talked about the deadly shooting in his hometown Las Vegas. Here we are in the aftermath of another terrible, inexplicable, shocking and painful tragedy, this time in Las Vegas, the late-night show host said. Of course, we pray for the victims and for their families and friends. And we wonder why, even though there's probably no way to ever know why a human being would do something like this to other human beings. At least 59 people were killed and 527 were injured when Stephen Paddock opened fire on the Route 91 Harvest Festival around 10 p.m. local time Sunday. This morning, we have children without parents and fathers without sons, mothers without daughters. We lost two police officers, we lost a nurse from Tennessee, a special ed teacher from a local school here in Manhattan Beach. It's the kind of thing that makes you want to throw up or give up. It's too much to even process. Jimmy Kimmel Live Kimmel then took a jab at the double standards of reactions to mass shootings and those who insist nothing can be done to stop killers. Of course there's something we can do about it. There's a lot we can do about it. But we don't, which is interesting because when someone with a beard attacks us, we tap phones, we invoke travel bans, we build walls, we take every possible precaution to make sure it doesn't happen again. But when an American buys a gun and kills other Americans, then there's nothing we can do about that. Second Amendment, I guess. Our forefathers wanted us to have AK-47s, is the argument, I assume. The host specifically called out White House Press Secretary Sarah Huckabee Sanders, who said Monday that this is not the time to talk about gun control. We have 59 innocent people dead and at WASNT their time either, so I think now is the time for political debate, he said. The Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell, the Speaker of the House Paul Ryan, a number of other lawmakers who won't do anything about this because the NRA has their balls in a money clip also sent their thoughts and prayers today. Which is good. They should be praying. They should be praying for God to forgive them for letting the gun lobby run this country. Kimmel also showed photos of the 56 senators who voted last year, days after the Orlando mass shooting, against closing loopholes that allow people to buy weapons online and at gun shows without background checks. I want this to be a comedy show. I hate talking about stuff like this. I just want to laugh about things every night, but it seems to be becoming increasingly difficult lately. It feels like someone has opened a window into hell, he said. What I'm talking about tonight I SNT about gun control it's about common sense. Common sense says no good will ever come from allowing a person to have weapons that can take down 527 Americans at a concert.